Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be explaining to you how to calculate reactions for different loading conditions. So in this example we have a beam which is supported at A as a pin support and at B as a roller support. And the difference with these supports is for a pin support it transfers loads in two different directions, usually in the X and Y direction, but these are at 90 degrees to each other. So for a pin support, you have reaction in the Y direction and reaction in the X direction. For roller support, it only transmits load in one direction. So you only have reaction in the Y direction. Okay, so this question is asking us to calculate the reactions at both supports due to these loadings, 20 kilonewton and 40 kilonewtons loading. Always make sure you take note of the units because sometimes you have them in different, sometimes you can have 20 newtons and maybe four kilonewtons. You have to make sure they're both same. So in this case, we're sure because they're both 20 kilonewtons each. Right, so the first thing you have to do when you have a question like this is to draw a free body diagram. With a free body diagram, we represent the beam with a straight line, just as I've done here. So just draw a simple straight line like this, and point A, which is the pin support, point B is the roller support. Now, as you said earlier, for point A, you have reaction in two directions because it's a pin support. So this represents reaction in the Y direction, and this arrow represents reaction in the X direction. And likewise for point B, which is a roller support, this is just one direction reaction, which is RBY. I also usually just draw the forces, bring the forces down to represent the, the direction of the force. So it's acting downward. So this is the 20 kN force, which is 2 meters from point A, and the 40 kN force, which is 5 meters from point A. We also know that for a beam which is supported in this way, reaction in the y direction, the forces in the y direction, sum of forces in the y direction is zero. So sum of forces in the y direction is zero, sum of forces in the x direction is zero, moments in at point A is zero, moment at point B is zero. So we can use these four equations to calculate the reactions. Usually you can just use any two. So in this case, I'm going to use the sum of forces in the y direction equals zero. So which is what I've done here. So you take the upward forces equals the downward forces. And we have two upward forces, which is RAY and RBY, which are the reactions, and two downward ones, which is the 20 kilonewtons and 40. So RAY plus RBY equals 20 plus 40. So reaction A in the Y direction plus reaction B in the Y direction equals 60 kilonewton. This will be the first equation. Obviously, we need to have another equation so we can solve to find both of them. Okay. So next, I'm going to use the sum of moments at point A equals zero. So if we look at point A, Clockwise moment equals counterclockwise moment. So you can stay at this point, and from here it's obvious that reaction AY, reaction AX will produce no moments because the distance from point A is zero. But 20, the moment for this force is 20 times 2, which I've written here, plus 40 times the total distance, which is 5 equals RBY plus the entire length of the beam, which is 9. We get an answer of 26.67 kilonewtons, which we can just put back into this equation. So we know RAY plus RBY equals 60 from uh, sum of forces in Y direction equals 0, so which gives RAY 60 minus RBY. We've Solve for a reaction for B in the Y direction, it's 6.67. So once we take that out, we get 33.33 kilonewton. We also know the reaction in the X direction is zero because there's no force acting in the X direction. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it was useful. I'll put 
the descript I'll put a link to this paper in the description box. Thank you and see you later.